if you're trying to get dry paint off one palette and put it onto another palette, make sure your mixing brush, this is your hog bristle scrubbing brush, not for painting in watercolour, only for scrubbing dry paint. Make sure it's pure and clean and there's no colour coming out of it at all. And then nice clean water. And you basically, if it's in a dish like this, it's easy because you just stir, stir, stir until you've got a nice um, dish full of paint. Just stir, 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 stir. So you want to scrub that all that dry paint up and into the dish. And my dish is just this plastic lid. I'm sick of it being on this lid. I just want to get it onto a proper dish. So I just scrub, scrub, scrub. You really scrub with the bristles on its side to really try and loosen up that hard bit of paint there. Just keep on scrubbing until it disappears into the liquid. Sometimes it takes a while. It's quite a bit of paint there. I'm really grinding this brush because hog bristle brushes don't mind being mistreated. They love it, they say. Yes, yes, bring it on, bring it on, I love it. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Straight into this dish here. So if you're trying to switch paint from one dish to another dish, all you've got to do is turn it into liquid and then pour it into the other dish. It's very hard to move it while it's in that hard cake form because it's full of gum arabic. The medium that watercolour paint lives in, you know, watercolour paint is just pigment with a binder that um, holds it all together. And the binder in watercolour paint is gum arabic, which is like this gluey, gooey stuff. I'm cleaning the rim of my dish here because if I don't, it's going to stick to the dish above it in the stack here. I've found that happened before and it's a nightmare not being able to get the dishes apart. So you've got to be keeping this room really nice and clean when you're operating with one of these stacks. So that's the trick, just liquefy it and move it on.